African-American slaves combined common quilt patterns and sewing methods with traditional African symbols and images to make bed quilts. The messages themselves were a part of a language that helped meaning only for people who had somehow learned it. Slave-holding families and white supervisors had no cause to suspect anything unusual. My name is Martha Jordan. I am a member of the Cassachi Quilt Guild of Winfield, Louisiana. I come upon this book. It's called Underground Railroad, and it's a sampler of quilt. I got also this book, Hidden in Plain. I use that with the Underground Railroad sampler quilt in a day book to make a quilt that I called my Underground Railroad. Okay. This block is called Jacob's Ladder. It has alternating dark and light colors that can be used as directional quilt de depending on how the blocks are set in the quilt and which way the quilt is displayed on the fence. Our second block is called Monkey Ranch. This quilt displayed as a signal for any slaves who plan to escape to prepare tools you'll need for the long journey, including the mental and spiritual Our tools. Third is a wagon wheel. This meant wagons with compart hidden compartments were one of the me primary means of transporting escaping runaways. Our next block is called Bear's Paw. Because bears lived in the mountains and knew their way around, their tracks served as railroad maps, enabling the fugitives to navigate navigate their ways through the Appalachian Mountains, meaning take a mountain trail out of view, follow the path made by the bear tracks. They can lead you to food and water. Our next block is the log cabin block. A secret symbol that would be drawn in the ground indicating that a person is safe to talk to. It also advised the runaways to build a log cabin to weather out winter and established permanent residency in a free area. A quilt with a black center hanging in front of, the, of a house indicated it was a safe house. I enjoyed that part of it, of making the quilt and learning about each one of the squares and what they represented to the uh, escaping slaves.